Yes with the colors. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say yes with the inner eye, you know, inner color. Say, oh my God, the nails. Oh, no. No. <laughs> We're together. We are coordinated. Wow. <laughs> I'll let it work, okay? I'm doing great. You know, my accountability partner was just checking up on me. I'm supposed to be working out right now, but it's okay. Awesome. But it still okay. counts because we're talking about work. That's how we make it happen. It happens. <laughs> it counts. It's the same thing. <laughs> so, Sabrina, I had a question for you because I relate to Quinn. I have no rhythm whatsoever, okay? I almost died trying to do a, a the little <laughs> stepper to me during my aerobics. We almost so. died a couple times, too. Who did that? <laughs> Just say it. So I wanted to know, because you both have dancing backgrounds, but is it harder to act like you can't dance versus actually dancing full out? Arguably, yeah. I think there's reasons that both of them are really difficult because I think uh, the the amount of energy that it takes to nail it every time is probably like a little bit more than it takes to not nail it every time however the uh the like realistic expectations of looking like you're actually a bad dancer if you do have rhythm are not as easy as I thought they would be going into it so that's why it was really fun to experiment and just you know make sure that I was like actually feeling like completely off rhythm out of my body just like in any way possible like trying to get out of like the perfectionist head that I usually live in as as Sabrina and also as Quinn um so yeah it was it was really fun but I'm right there with you though I have especially dancing next to Liza and every other person in this movie I was like wait I'm not I was like wait I actually am Quinn I was like wait uh, <laughs> this is too real <laughs> I really want to relate, but it's just I can't. It's just she can't help it. She's oh, I can't help it. Hey, look at body. Right now. See, I don't know what you mean. I, I don't know. Do you want gonna... me to be doing the other <laughs> half? <'Cause> I... <laughs> yeah, that's back, that's back. Um, she's real good. Sabrina's real good at looking bad, though. But she's real good at looking good too. <laughs> like he that was it, a... back. You brought it back to a compliment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll bring it back. Happy your friends. Happy friends. Bring it back. Now, Liza. I wanted to know more about your, because you do have a dance background. You were getting it in the movie. So I, I just wanted to, I just want you to let everyone know what your dance cred is and give us a little background as okay. to what your dance, I'm just saying. Okay, okay, I will. Um, well, I'm in Houston, Texas right now, so allow me to rap real quick. Shout out to the Houston <laughs> Ballet for bringing a girl up into the ballet world. Yes. Took a little hiatus during middle school, going through some hormonal changes. And then high school, I jumped back into dance drill team i was i was living my friday night lights dreams but shout out to lamar high school know your roots water them um and i did drill team dancing all throughout high school and ended up being a captain and now i ended up somehow in a dance movie so i, I just I, I haven't really danced for like for, i've danced unprofessionally for most of my life but i guess you can count it as professional now if you end up in the movie. but i mean you in a movie now is professional yeah okay there you go. I got it. Now, one of the big things that I love about Work It is not, it, your characters feel like they have to go through this path of the path that is destined, this is what everyone else has done, so this is what I have to do. Right. And so I wanted to ask you in your respective careers, have you ever felt like you needed to conform um, to a certain road in order to get your career goals? Or have you, you know, do you strive to make sure that you create your own path? And okay. Sabrina, we can start incredible question it's so true because because it's something that you don't necessarily talk about a lot because you're so in it we're we're, we're definitely so in our our own lives and our own careers or whatever is happening um that it's it's nice to zoom out sometimes and be able to look at it from that perspective of like i definitely think that people have had an idea of where i should be and what i should be doing and how i should get there and the steps i should take or not take and um i think at the end of the day like it's, it's all come with me growing into myself and, and being confident and uh, trusting myself enough to make the choices of what it is that I want to do. Because at the end of the day, it's like my life. So if I don't make these choices now, then I'm going to be living with someone else's choices that were made for me um, instead of living with my own. And I'd so much rather like, I'd so much rather like be mad at myself for making a choice that I didn't like than be mad at someone else later on. You know what I mean? And, and I think that there, there is no being mad at yourself because at the end of the day, everything's supposed to happen and it's a learning lesson. Um, but yeah, I mean, Liza can also speak on this too because we both had these like long roller coasters of, of journeys. I know I've been, I've had a very <laughs> different path of coming into this industry and much more, you know, kind of digital path of like being a content creator and shifting into 
you know, creating content with others and then starring alongside Sabrina in, in content that's not my own, but I'm so happy to be a part of. So I think just like the natural human instinct to want to put labels on people and identify them, um, but living a life that is labelless is something that I've always wanted and, and, and want to be for kids growing up, um, allowing yourself to be free of expectation of others and set expectations for yourself and then, you know, exceed them if possible, like have having the utmost fun of redefining yourself and not sticking to a definition someone has placed on you is something I think is so important to embrace as a teenager, as a young adult, and even as an, an adult, just defining yourself and redefining yourself over and over again. I think that's the time the world is in right now where yeah. we're rediscovering ourselves and having fun experimenting with ourselves again. So hopefully this just encourages some people to try something they've never thought to tap into before and, and yeah. tap into that potential and have fun with their power. Well, ladies, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the great oh, question. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Nails. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Nails. <laughs>